So here I am in Civil 3D 2015, and I want to show you what's new with the aerial imagery tools. So if you're familiar with the Google Earth tools back in 2013, um, those were not included in, with Civil 3D. They then introduced the Project Base Jump, which was the ability to attach to the Bing imagery. That became the geolocation tools in AutoCAD. And now I want to show you what they've changed in 2015, and this is really cool. So here I've got a drawing. This is a geo-reference drawing, so it has a coordinate system assigned to it. Uh, this is actually one of the tutorial files. It's the intro1.dwg if you want to go try it out on your own. And, and basically all I have to do is turn on the image. So when I have a drawing that's geo-referenced, I'm going to have a geolocation tab. And all I have to do is turn on the map. Now, the first time you do this, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google, or not into your Google, into your Autodesk account. Uh, you sign in, you agree to the terms and condition, and here it is. So as I zoom in and zoom out, the imagery updates. If I zoom in tighter, I'm going to get tighter images. Now, we've been able to do this before in 2014, but the problem is, is if I come in here to try to plot this, it won't plot. It's even telling me, hey, it's not going to be plotted. And okay, and then uh, let's just go sign a draw plotter here. Let's see, let's just use the uh, DWG to PDF. Sure, why not? And we'll preview that. And as you can see, the imagery definitely doesn't plot. And this is the way it worked in 2014. Now, here in 2015, I do want this image to plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my geolocation tab, and I'm going to capture an area. So I choose capture area, and I'm just going to draw a window around the area I'm interested in, and it creates what's known as a geomap image. So if I select this and I list it, you can see this is a geomap image. Sweet. I like that. Now, what does this geomap image do? Well, if I go plot the drawing now, and I do a quick preview, you can see that frame that I selected plots, which is really cool. In fact, I can even turn off my map, geolocation tab, say, no, I don't want my map anymore, and it keeps that geomap image available for me. Oh, but uh, you know what? We've decided we want to include some of this area over here. Well, all you have to do is grab this image and adjust it, and you'll see the image lo reloads. If I move it, you can see it still is georeferenced. So this is a, a new object type. This is not an image. You can't. It's not an XREF. This is a GeoMap image. Really cool stuff here. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see the image right now is fairly coarse. So when you grab the image, you're going to have options up here. By default, it's set to optimal. So this is the optimal resolution for this image. I don't know what they, how this is determined, but it's the optimal. Um, if I change this, I can change this to very fine. And when I change it to very fine, the image is going to reload. And now as I zoom in, you can see I get much better resolution. If I change that back to optimal, you see the image resolution goes down. If I change that to coarse, it goes down even more. So I've got control over that here. So I can change that back to very fine. And now i got some very nice detail here. So these are the new um, map to or the image tools in AutoCAD. These are AutoCAD tools, not Civil 3D tools. Um, we're just taking advantage of them in Civil 3D. Hope you learned something. Hope you're excited about the 2015 release. Thanks.